Hello, welcome. Pause the video, read the problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so Juan and Felipe practice at the driving range before playing golf. So they're practicing for the game of golf. Uh, the number of wins and corresponding practice times for each player are shown in the table below. So let's take a look. We have a two-way frequency table. We've got Juan's wins here in the first column, Felipe's wins in the second column, and then we have short practices and long practices in these two rows right here. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mark my marginal uh, frequencies. I'm going to add up this row, add up this row, put them together, get all the things involved, 45. And then I add this column right here, I get 23, and this column right here, 22. So these are my totals, my marginal frequencies. In other words, 18 is the total number of times there were short practices. Given that the practice was long, okay, determine the exact probability, all right, hold on, we've got a probability here, that Felipe wins, so that we've got a win, given that the practice was long. Okay, so how many long practices were there? Let's look at our row. Okay, here it's 27. Out of that 27, how many times did Felipe win? 12. Okay, so 12 out of 27. And they want the exact probability. Now, here, if you plug this in, that into your calculator, let's see what happens. You get, okay, we get 12 out of 27, and that is 0.4 repeating, but you can also enter it as a reduced fraction on the calculator. You might notice 3 is a factor of both 12 and 27, but on the calculator, if you press the math button, and go to fraction right here, enter, and enter again, it'll reduce the fraction for you, 4 ninths. So, 4 ninths is the exact answer, which is 0.4 repeating exactly. These are both correct. And all ninths are, can be written as repeating decimals. Pretty cool. Um, so that being said, let's go to the next part. Determine whether or not the two events, Felipe wins. So the probability that Felipe wins. And I want to find that Felipe wins 22 times out of 45. And long practice time are independent. So the practice, um, long practice time, uh, put L, whether or not they're independent. Okay, and the practice, uh, long practice time probability is 27 out of 45. All right. Now, there are many ways to look at this. We can look at these probabilities and say, okay, if you multiply the probability of them winning times the probability of there being a long practice, if you multiply these two things, here's one way to test your probability. Does it equal the probability that he wins and practices long? which is, where is that? It's this number here, 15 out of 45, right? Is that true? And you would find that it's not. But I, I just wanted to point out that maybe the fastest way to look at this is right here with the numbers you already have. Another definition of independence is that the probability of him winning will have to be equal to the probability of him winning given that a long practice has occurred. But these two fractions right here, you want to see if they're equal. And if you pull those numbers up, let's pull them up, we've got 12 over 27, and then we've got 22 over 45. Those give you different decimals. So if you're answering this question, you could say they're not independent because the probability of them winning, given that there was a long practice, is a different number than the probability of them winning, which is another test for independence. In other words, the conditional probability, this thing right here, the fact that a long practice has occurred, has no impact on whether or not he is he's going to win. All right, thank you.